Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. So today I'm actually um, filming on New Year's Eve. You guys are going to be seeing this on New Year's Day. So I hope you guys had a good New Year's Eve, um, enjoying it with your family or friends, whatever you guys did. Um, but today is my favorite video to actually film. It is my empties video. So yes, I haven't filmed an empties video for um, like two months. So this is November and December's empties and I have quite a bit to show you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So first off, I did use this box of masks. Um, there were five in here. Last, I had this in my A to Z project pan. Um, so I used all five completely up. So yes, there are four in here. So I used the last of the five or four within the last couple months. So I enjoyed these. They are, I feel like sheet masks are not fit right for your face. I feel like so um, the this part right here for under your nose always hangs down all the way to my mouth so um, most of the time I have to like every once in a while I'll just like rip it apart and just not use that part um, so yeah and this is also a very very expensive brand 111 skin is expensive so I probably will not purchase these. So next up, I did use two, not one, but two lotions. So one of them was in my A to Z project pan. That was the winter candy apple lotion. I talked about that in that video, which you guys seen yesterday, which would be today. So, cause I'm putting that up on New Year's Eve. Um, so yes, this was like what I smelled like in my youth, like in high school. So I used this a lot then, but um, I feel like it's just too, I don't know, too sweet for me now. So I would not purchase another one of these scents um, in the body care again. And I also used up a pear berry from Bath and Body Works as well, pear berry lotion. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Um, it's nice and fruit and florally mix into one. Um, so if you're wondering what the keynotes is, um, it's anjou, pear, wild berries, apple blossom, golden freesia, and blonde woods is what this smells like. And I would repurchase this if I found it. I think I purchased this on one of the SAS sales. Um, but this is a good scent for the summertime. So finish two lotions up. So excited. Um, let's go ahead and go through the masks that I used up. I used two masks. Um, one was other than the other ones that I showed. One was a lip mask. I really liked this lip mask. This is from, um, it was a two-step lip mask you it was like a lip scrub um and then the second one was like a lip mask so you did the scrub first to like exfoliate your lips to get all the like the dead skin and everything off and then you did the mask which um it is vitamin c glow boosting and i feel like my lips looked a lot plumper when I use this and it was the it's the yes to brand so I would consider purchasing more of these loved those and then I also used an eye gel mask which is from patchology I can't remember when I used these if they were good or not I'm not really sure but patchology is a good skincare brand so I would um, consider purchasing more from this brand um, it just might not be the eye patches because they probably are a little expensive um next up for the bath i did use up my kids probably helped me the scentsy um scentsy soak and the scent shimmer this is very i love this scent mm, it smells so good but this was it's kind of like 
bath salts, but it's in like a powder form. So it has um, Himalayan sea salt and Epsom, Epsom salt in here. So it helps with like tired, achy muscles, or um, it just smells good if you want to put it in for like the kids um, for it just, the bath to smell good. Um, but use this up. Love those. I have another one in a different scent in the bathroom right now. Um, so we're going to keep on going with the bath stuff. I finally use this um, Bath and Body Works on the go shave and shower two-in-one oil body cleanser. I use this. I did not use it as a cleanser because it didn't, I didn't really like the smell of it. It didn't really smell good to me. So I just mainly use this for when I would shave my legs. Um, so this is how this got used up. I don't think they have, this was the active line, um, from Bath and Body Works. They don't have this line anymore. So I think I'm pretty sure I got this at an SAS sale, um, just to see how it was. Would not, if it came around again, I probably would not buy this because it didn't really do too much for me. Um, so for shampoo and conditioner, I did use these little minis from the body shop. It was the Banana Truly Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. It's for normal to dry hair. So I used both of them. Um, the scent was okay, but I don't think I like my hair smelling like bananas. Um, especially not this banana. I think it, it kind of smelled, um, I don't know. It smelled good, but um, I would not purchase these again. I am interested in the, if you guys have tried it before, let me know. The um, Briogeo, I think it is. Um, the banana and coconuts shampoo and conditioner, I think it's what it is. Um, that is on my radar next to purchase um, once I get through more shampoos and conditioners. Because I have like... Before this, I had like five different shampoos that I was rotating through, which is a little excessive for me. Um, speaking of a, a shampoo and conditioner, I use this uh, Tresemme Ker oh, excuse me, Keratin Smooth Color uh, Conditioner. Use this all up. Um, this, I think, was the culprit from my very dry scalp. Every time I would use this, it would be immediately like an after an hour or two of me taking a shower, my skin or my scalp would itch so bad from this. Um, and I noticed I, my scalp isn't itching as much after I don't, I'm not using this anymore. But I think I have another conditioner in a backup of this and a shampoo currently in the shower. So I am going to have to go through these first and then I will not purchase these again. Um, another thing, I think this is the last thing for the bath stuff. It wasn't really like stuff for the bath, but it was in my shower. Um, this was in my sample project pan, which I'm going to have to keep this so that I remember to show you guys um, for my empties. It's the True Trufora Triple Action Exfoliator. So you put this on your skin and let it set for like five minutes and then rubbed it in and it was like an exfoliator. Um, so I use this in the shower. I use it up to use it up. Um, it smelled a lot like clay and that scent is not really appealing to me. Um, and I felt like it was just too harsh on my skin. It like, I don't know if I'm not used to exfoliators or what, but when I would rub it in it, I feel like it was like rubbing my skin off. Um, so I would not purchase this in a full size. So I'm glad that that is gone. All right. I did use up one, we did use up one hand soap. Um, my one in my bathroom is literally almost done. So you guys will see that in my next empties. Maybe you'll see too. Uh, it was the Fiji White Sands. I just love this packaging. Can we just go to the beach? Like, I want to go to this beach because that is so pretty. Uh, so let me take a sniff. Mm, yes, it just smells so good. Um, smells like summertime at the beach is what this smells like. Uh, so we, I would consider purchasing this again. Um, I, if you guys seen my haul, which you haven't yet, um, you probably will see that within the next week. But I did do a big SAS haul. It is filmed already, but I did not find that at the sale. 
just uh, just letting you know um we went through this big huge thing of crest pro health clinical um mouthwash so me and my husband did use this um i don't use the mouthwash all all the time it's just when i remember and every once in a while so it did, does take us a while to go through these um i do have a, a ton of like little mini ones that i bought for like vacations that i need to start using um before we buy another big one like this but we liked it um would purchase it again so there's that um we have one two we have two little home empties here so i use this oxyclean odor and stain remover um what were these this was like little crystals i think it was little crystals that you put um i got this from a influencer influencer box with a whole bunch of other things um i wanted just to mention it that that i used this up um i don't know if i've seen a difference in them i used it with my husband's um work pants so um to help them smell better and if there was any stains to remove those so i did use that next i only went through one scentsy bar so this one was the pixie sparkle and it was from one of our collections that you can no longer get i love the scent it smells so good it's like really sugary and hmm, it just smelled so good so i did go through one of those wax bars okay we have two more products and then the rest or three more products and the rest is makeup guys i went through some makeup this month so crazy so first of course you guys see these in empties um about three or four times a year it's my eva nyc main magic 10 in 1 primer i love this stuff i cannot get enough of this i am using my the um there's something else that I'm using. It was in my A to Z project pan. That one uh, doesn't, it doesn't do as well as this. It doesn't detangle my hair like I need it to. So I put this, spray this in my hair after every shower. It gets rid of all my tangles. It leaves it nice and silky smooth. Um, I did notice today because I took a shower last night um, that when I don't use this, my hair gets so crazy. Like I'll sleep on it and my hair was ridiculous this morning when I woke up. So I am missing this. I do, I did buy two of these in the Ulta um, sale recently. I think it was like a black, the Black Friday sale or something like that. Um, but I do have backups of those. So I've already purchased them and I have two little minis too. So I am good to go for this next year. Uh, next, I used up a face toner. So this was the Skin & Co um, face toner. I think I got this from a FabFitFun box when I used to get it. Um, it was okay. Um, nothing like my Pixi Glow Tonic. I have switched back to that after I used this up, but it did good while um, I, it lasted, but I probably would not repurchase that one. And a lip scrub that I did not like. I love the packaging though. Um, I would love more lip scrubs in something like this rather than you have to dig your finger in like a pot to um, put it on. But this lip scrub was just way too, um, way too chunky for me. And it, it seemed to like hurt my lips rather than like exfoliate them and um, get all the nastinesses off. But I am glad I used this up. It was from Wonder Kiss. And I'm pretty sure I got this in an Ipsy bag. Okay. Lastly, we have makeup. So I did finally use up my Clairol Root Touch Up um, powder. This was for, um, it says it was for, you can put it on your scalp to freshen up your roots. Um, you can, you, you could have used it as like a um, bronzer or for your brows. I used this for my brows. I did use up the two lighter shades. So this one and this one, I use those for my brows. This one I kind of put in my hair um, because I do have baby hairs right here. So I kind of like filled those in. That's how I use this up a little bit. 
but um, I have powders in my collection that I can use if I want to as a um, like a brow powder. So I would not, I would not purchase this just just for that when I already have stuff in my collection. So um, I use that up while I could, but I would not repurchase it. Uh, next, I did use a primer up. So this was a little mini primer from Elizabeth Mott. It was the Thank Me Later Mattifying Primer. This one was really good. I am um, honestly considering purchasing this one. I loved how it just like mattified my face before um, my foundation and my foundation did set on my skin really good with this. So this is one that is on my radar to purchase in the full size. Um, my real, real techniques. Yes. Real techniques sponge. I'm calling this quits. I did not, I did not wash this because I, um, it's just going in the trash after this, but it did crack on the top. So I figured it was time to call this one quits. I do currently have another real technique sponge going. Those that's the brand that I really like their sponges. Um, they seem to work really good with with my skin and I really like them. So I will continue purchasing those. Next up is a foundation. Guys, I finished a foundation this year. Um, this one was the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish Foundation. I had to put it on its side at the end because the pump wouldn't pump anymore out. So I would have to take the little spatula in there and put it on my beauty blender. So this one is completely gone. It was not the right shade for me. I, I feel like it was too light and I just didn't like like the coverage that this did. It, I didn't like how it set on my face. It seemed like really um, cakey. I don't know if it was because it was getting older or what, but I would not purchase this again, but I'm glad I got a foundation out of my collection. Um, so next, oh, I missed that little mini. Next, I called it quits on my unique Moodstruck Epic Mascara. This was in my A to Z project pan. I had this open all year round, all year long. So um, I just figured it was time for this this guy to go. Um, you're only supposed to have found, er, mascaras going for three months. I don't seem to follow that rule. Um, I just keep them going until they clump on me and start flaking or um, I've had them in for a year, had been using them for a year and need to <laughs> roll it out. So got a mascara out. Um, the last two makeup empties, I did miss one little baby thing that, that was in there. I finished two setting sprays. So I finally used up the Ulta Beauty Matte uh, Makeup Setting Spray. I do not like the spray on this. Don't like how it sprays um, and it smells pretty it, it doesn't smell good to me. So I am glad I use this up. I will not be purchasing another one, but another one that I will be purchasing and I already have backups is my Morphe Continuing Continuous Setting Mist. I love this stuff. I love the mister on this. It, it's so, so fine. It doesn't come out like splotchy like some setting mist do, and it does set my makeup really good. So I love, love, love this setting mist. And I have one in my backup right now. Um, I was tempted to buy another one, but I just don't, I don't, I don't need another one right now. Oh, when I start working on that one in my makeup collection, uh, then I'll buy it just in case I have a backup. And the very last thing that I have was this baby, baby sample, um, perfume from Burberry. It was Burberry Her. And this one, let me see if I can get anything else out. Can't get anything. It smells, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Really liked this perfume. So this will probably go on my wish list at for some point, maybe my birthday, Valentine's Day, I don't know. But really liked this perfume and would consider purchasing the full size. So that is going to do it for my empties for November and December. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I did not, um, let me know, guys, uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to save all of my makeup empties for next year. 
Um, we moved in the middle of the year, so I think I was saving them up until then. And then afterwards, I like when I was packing, I just threw the box in the trash because it was just one last thing to move. So let me know if you guys, if that's what you guys would like to see in 2021. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Um, next empties video. I am going to try to do them monthly. If I don't have enough stuff um, to do them monthly, it's going to be every other month. So you guys have things to see me talk about instead of like just a five minute video, nothing. So um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.